on the meeting of the empowered group of ministers to understand the current situation in the country with regards to COVID-19 and to draw out a plan post 14th of April. So far, the government decision only extends up to 14th of April for the lockdown that has been enforced throughout the country. It's a national lockdown that is in place currently. But a week ahead of time, before the expiry of the lockdown, measures are now being discussed on how there can be a calibrated response uh, or rather calibrated lifting of the lockdown that can happen. Remember, the Prime Minister has uh, had an interaction earlier with the Chief Ministers via video conferencing uh, on Thursday and then later on Monday he sought suggestion from the Council of Ministers on how to make a calibrated exit from the 21-day lockdown. Following that, now we see this high-powered meeting again uh, attended by the top ministers of the Modi cabinet to discuss the lifting of the lockdown. That's the primary concern now, given the number of cases across the country, given the number of hotspots that have emerged. Is a lockdown, uh, a national uh, lifting of the lockdown advisable? That is a decision the government of India has to take at the moment. Minakshi joining me on the phone line to give us an understanding of this particular meeting. Minakshi, so, so this is a group of ministers meeting. Uh, we are given to understand led by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh to discuss uh, lockdown implications. Uh, what more can you share, please? Well, that's right, Abhira. You see, uh, this is a very uh, senior-level uh, group of ministers, uh, like you rightly mentioned, led by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, uh, who are meeting up. And as we speak, uh, Home Minister Amit Shah and other cabinet ministers are also attending the meeting. Uh, this has started at uh, 11 a.m. at uh, Mr. Rajnath Singh's residence. Uh, to discuss various aspects of uh, the lockdown and also the implications thereof uh, and also the other issues which have arisen as a result of the lockdown. Because remember, uh, we know that 14th April is the date uh, that, uh, has, that the lockdown is in effect thus far. But uh, on earlier occasions, we have heard a lot of uh, discussions pertaining to a graded uh, manner in which that uh, the lockdown can be lifted. Uh, phase by phase, but that uh, that bit also is a little early in the day to be speculating upon because uh, uh, we are still some days away from the 14th of April and a lot of factor, factors have to be taken into account, especially pertaining to the spike in infection rate and also uh, the mortality rate. Uh, but but there are other, uh, you know, concerns pertaining to a lot of aspects of uh, the lockdown, uh, which these senior group of ministers are going to discuss and brainstorm on. All right. Uh, so that's important. But, you know, at this stage, what are the important concerns that the government is uh, dealing with? One aspect, of course, is the lifting of the lockdown. So inputs from individual states, I believe, also being taken on this. Uh, are there also uh, concerns about availability of equipment, availability of testing kits? Are those matters also uh, going to be covered in this meeting? We will have a better understanding of what was discussed or what the outcome of this meeting was. But uh, as of now, what we can confirm to our viewers is that this is a lockdown which has wide-scale implications and ramifications. Uh, there are a lot of things which are intertwined with, with each other. Of course, we have seen some very major developments happening uh, on uh, the external affairs front uh, with uh, India responding to the U.S. president. Uh, that bit is obviously not going to be discussed in this particular meeting. Uh, but uh, that is, again, to give a sense to our viewers about uh, how many aspects uh, this, the entire uh, issue has uh, in its totality. Uh, but that apart, yes, indeed, uh, the lo lockdown has a lot of implications and it, it has myriad aspects uh, for the senior group of ministers to be mulling over. Uh, and one part about the lockdown, uh, we heard from uh, Telangana Chief Minister as well yesterday, where he uh, urged the Prime Minister to go on to extend the lockdown. So uh, there are several aspects and several arguments uh, to, the, to this. And this is hmm. a very senior group of ministers, which includes... Uh, They've been very senior, esteemed BJP leaders also in their individual capacities like Rajnath Singh and, of course, Amit Shah, Home Minister, other cabinet ministers. So uh, the various wide-scale implications mm. of the lockdown itself and the graded manner, if at all and when, mm. uh, being the operative word, the government finally decides to, uh, you know, uh, take a call on the gradual or the graded manner of uh, uh, withdrawing the lockdown. Several implications uh, are going to be uh, touched upon and discussed in this said meeting. Right. Right. And it requires a coordinated response and, of course, a 
cooperation of the various departments, which is why this high-powered meeting being held right now of uh, the heads of various ministries attending this meeting. Thanks for joining us, uh, Minakshi, with your inputs on